welcome all of you to Football Breaking News. We are random football news today. The following are the details of today's content. Alejandro Garnacho may have forced Eric Ten Hag to change his Manchester United transfer plans. Alejandro Garnacho is enjoying a breakout season for Man United and his arrival may have ruled out a possible transfer target. It's like the ultimate what-if scenario for Manchester United. Frankie de Jong took control in the middle of the opposition half and unleashed a superb pass for Cody Gakpo to score. It could easily have happened with United's red, but it happened in the Dutch orange instead. United spent most of the summer trying to sign de Jong from Barcelona and were also interested in PSV Eindhoven winger Gakpo for most of the transfer window. Before committing to spending £85.5 million on the move, Signed Antony from Ajax, Eric Ten Hag's top attacking player. Target. De Jong's desire to stay in the Champions League and stay with Barcelona has nonetheless only led to a Europa League meeting with United in February, and few United fans would trade him for Casemiro right now, with the bridge. The Brazilian player made an immediate impact following his £70 million summer. Move. Still, Gakpo remains a potential addition although it could be one that United have begun making recently, despite his impact on the second day of the World Cup. The winger stayed at PSV in the summer, despite interest from Leeds United and Southampton, and his return this season has been astounding, with 13 goals and 17 assists. His header for the Netherlands against Senegal on Monday came from a well-timed run and showed that scoring instinct. The 23-year-old is often ranked number 10 for his national team by Louis van Gaal, with Memphis Depay often drifting left when he is fit, but he has made it clear his preferred position is the left wing. Gakpo's problem at United is that the competition for that position is fierce. Marcus Rashford has shown this season and is perhaps the number one choice of Ten Hag's three forwards. Jadon Sancho also plays on the left wing, even if he is having a crisis of confidence at the moment, and then Alejandro Garnacho. The 18-year-old has had some tough love from Ten Hag this season, but in the weeks before the season was halted, he was electrocuted. His goals against Real Sociedad and Fulham were both excellent and the 30-minute appearance against Aston Villa in the Corabao Cup was exciting. All of those goals have come from the left and he revealed this week that he also considers that his best position. I've always liked to play on the left wing, because a right-footed player can cut in, he told club media. To be able to play as a right-footed player on the left side, you also have to be pretty good with your weaker leg. Ever since I was a kid, I've always worked hard with both feet, because that makes you a much better player and so today I can play with both feet, not the perfect, but a good standard. Garnacho is proving difficult to ignore for Ten Hag and he needs space to grow in this squad. He makes an impact almost every time he is called up and even if he remains a reserve this season, he will be one of the first substitutes the manager summons because of the threat that he presented. That makes it unnecessary to sign another right-footed left winger from his best years ahead. Gakpo may continue to shine in the World Cup, but Garnacho's form this season has made him less of a priority for United. With Cristiano Ronaldo unlikely to return to the club after the World Cup, a central striker is the bigger problem right now, rather than another winger like Gakpo. The last detail also closed our hot football news today. Support us by liking the video and leaving a comment below the video. Click subscribe to the channel to receive notifications about the latest videos. Thank you all for watching.